What we have here is a rather unusual record player. This is actually a, actually a homemade unit and it appears that they used parts from several different record players to make this one. What makes this one so unusual is that it has a spring wound motor for the turntable. You can see the crank there on the right hand side and it has a two tube amplifier for the audio which is battery operated. This was likely made for someone who didn't have electricity which was not all that uncommon up until the 1950s to find homes especially in rural areas that didn't have electricity. This uses a standard aesthetic tone arm with the don't know how well you can see it but the old standard flat crystal cartridge that tracks at about 20 pounds. It's probably why most of the 78's that we find today are in rather poor condition. Played with a because they were played with a bad needle and with a heavy tracking tone arm like this. Okay, let me see if I can flip this up and I'll show you the, the underside. Just bear with me a minute while I try to do this one handed and you can see some of my some of my junky workshop while you're waiting. Okay, there's the there's the spring driven motor as you can see. It's probably something that was salvaged from an old portable wind up phonograph. There's the speaker and volume control. Definitely something somebody pasted together with spare parts. I I don't see this coming from a factory this way. And here's the amplifier. It's only got about mm, only got three capacitors in it and a few resistors and the two tubes down here. I don't know how well you can see them, but I believe it uses a 1Q5 for the audio output and a 1H5 for the preamp. The amplifier will likely need new capacitors and the usual going over like most old equipment does. The motor will need to be lubricated even though it runs as it is. I'm going to take it apart and clean it and lubricate it. And I'm sure the old crystal cartridge is dead. Most of them are by now. I've got a couple of options there. I can either send the old cartridge off and have it rebuilt for $55 or I can substitute a more modern pickup cartridge for around twenty or twenty five dollars. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet regarding that. I'd like to keep this as original as possible but I'm also the type of person that likes to save money whenever I can so we'll just see. Okay stay tuned and hopefully you'll see this thing in operation very soon.